This is why you need to stay with us. The Shocking Endeavours channel is your gateway to the unknown. Hit that subscribe button if you dare. Like and comment with your own spine-chilling stories. Share the fear with friends. And don't forget to ring the bell for more bone-chilling tutorials. Stay tuned if you can handle the terror. And the sun bleeds across the horizon, a fiery gash in a sky choked with smoke. Each sunset is a spectacle of despair, a reminder of the world's slow, agonizing demise. The air, thick with pollutants, hangs heavy and hot. Gone are the vibrant hues of a healthy sky. In their place, a bruised canvas of orange, purple and sickly yellow. This is our world now, a world teetering on the precipice of destruction. The earth, once teeming with life, now bears the scars of our neglect. Vast swathes of forests have been reduced to barren wastelands. The ice caps, once mighty sentinels of the poles, dwindle with every passing season. The very air we breathe has turned against us, a toxic cocktail of industrial waste and unchecked emissions. This is the legacy we leave behind. This is the future we have wrought. The land, once fertile and abundant, now yields only dust and despair. Droughts plague once thriving farmlands, leaving behind cracked earth and the skeletons of dead crops. Rivers, once arteries of life, run dry or are choked with pollution. The delicate balance of nature has been shattered, its intricate web of life torn asunder. The consequences of our actions are etched into the very fabric of our planet. Rising sea levels swallow coastal cities, displacing millions. Extreme weather events, once rare occurrences, have become the norm. Hurricanes of unprecedented fury lash the coasts. Floods engulf entire towns. Wildfires rage unchecked, consuming everything in their path. We have sown the seeds of our own destruction, and now we reap the bitter harvest. In this world of dwindling resources, humanity has turned on itself. Nations, once bound by diplomacy and trade, now eye each other with suspicion and distrust. The old alliances have crumbled, replaced by a desperate scramble for survival. The fight for control of what little remains, clean water, arable land and the dwindling reserves of fossil fuels, has pushed the world to the brink of war. Borders, once lines on a map, are now fiercely contested battlegrounds. Refugees fleeing the ravages of climate change and conflict are turned away at gunpoint. The lucky ones find refuge in overcrowded camps, their futures uncertain. The less fortunate perish on the journey, victims of thirst, starvation or the brutality of their fellow man. The cities, once beacons of progress and innovation, are now choked with poverty and despair. The streets, littered with debris and patrolled by armed gangs, are a testament to the collapse of law and order. Those who can afford it barricade themselves behind high walls, their gated communities a stark reminder of the growing divide between the haves and the have-nots. For the vast majority, survival is a daily struggle. Food and water are precious commodities bartered for at great cost. The air is thick with the stench of decay and the ever-present threat of disease. Trust is a luxury few can afford, as desperation drives many to acts of unspeakable cruelty. The bonds of family and community, once sources of strength and support, are strained to the breaking point in this unforgiving new world. Section 5, Cities of Shadows. The night brings little respite from the harsh realities of this dystopian world. The stars, once a source of wonder and inspiration, are hidden behind a perpetual haze of smog. The moon, when it breaks through the gloom, casts an eerie spectral glow on the ruins of our civilization. In the darkness, the predators come out to play. Gangs rule the night, their territories marked by graffiti and the blood of their rivals. The weak and vulnerable are easy prey, their lives worth little more than the scraps they carry. Even within the supposed safety of their homes, people live in fear. Sleep is a luxury few can afford, their nights haunted by the gnawing pangs of hunger and the constant threat of violence. Section 6. Wasteland Wanderers Outside the crumbling cities, a different kind of struggle for survival is taking place. Nomadic tribes roam the desolate landscapes, their lives defined by the constant search for food, water and shelter. They are the new pioneers, eking out a precarious existence in a world that has turned its back on them. These wasteland wanderers are bound by necessity. Their survival, depending on cooperation and a deep understanding of their harsh environment, 
They have learned to adapt to the changing climate, to find sustenance where others see only desolation. They carry with them the memories of a greener, more forgiving world, a world they hope to one day reclaim. Section 7, The Hunger for Power. In the halls of power, far removed from the daily struggles of the masses, the elite cling to their power and privilege. They are the architects of this dystopian world, the ones who profited from the destruction of the planet. They live in opulent isolation, shielded from the suffering they have wrought, blind to the consequences of their action. They continue to exploit the planet's dwindling resources, their insatiable greed fueling the cycle of destruction. They are the puppet masters, pulling the strings of war and manipulating global events to their advantage. They are the true enemy, the ones who must be held accountable for the state of the world. Section 8, On the Precipice. We stand at a crossroads in human history. The path we choose will determine the fate of our species. Will we continue down the road of self-destruction driven by greed, short-sightedness and a callous disregard for the natural world? Or will we finally summon the courage and the will to change course? The challenges we face are daunting, but they are not insurmountable. We have the technology, the knowledge and the resources to create a better future. What we lack is the political will, the collective sense of urgency and the willingness to make the difficult choices that are necessary for our survival. Section 9. A choice to make. The time for complacency is over. The time for action is now. We must demand that our leaders take immediate and decisive action to address the climate crisis. We must hold accountable those who have profited from the destruction of our planet and we must come together as a global community to build a more just, equitable and sustainable future for all. The future of humanity hangs in the balance. The choices we make today will determine the fate of generations to come. Let us choose wisely. Let us choose to act. Let us choose hope over despair. Let us choose life over extinction. Section 10, our last stand. This is our last chance. The last sunset may be upon us, but it does not have to be the end. We can still change course. We can still create a better world, but we must act now before it's too late. The future of humanity is in our hands. Well, my friends, now that I have you all here secluded with me, confined and alone, with nothing to do and nowhere to go, it's time for you to sit back and relax while you hold on to your seats. Join me here at the Shocking Endeavors channel for some death-defying suspense, terror and madness. You'll be glad that you did, believe me. Now I need you to subscribe, like, comment and share this video after you hit that notification button. If you don't, strange things may happen to you. Ha 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 ha.